it's your boy hipster Jesus <laughs> here to compare these two bags we're talking about minimal minimal travel today also daily carry right this is the Arcedo Saxon this is the Tortuga laptop Tortuga set out laptop bag uh, listen let's talk about this first of all let me take a hit of my four sigmatic mushroom focus shot I mentioned in one other video like I, I reached out to these guys I just wanted them to send me free shit and they're like yeah man, mention it on a couple videos we'll send you a little box these this thing's like a little bit of caffeine and lion's mane do you know about lion's mane mushroom anyways I'm way into mushrooms I'm taking their like course and shit uh hold on a sec I'm typically off the caffeine off the caffeine's a whole other way to live you guys but that doesn't mean I gotta be off the wine the weed or the LaCroix but <laughs> We're talking about bags. I mentioned this because you'll see me, I'll mention it again in a little bit. So we're talking about minimal travel and we're talking about daily carry, all right? Look at all of this stuff out here is stuff that I need on the regular. Two things that are not present that will not be able to be in this video are my laptop and my laptop charger. Two of like, if I didn't have clothes, if I didn't have a toothbrush, if I didn't have anything, as long as I have my laptop and my laptop charger, I can do everything I need to do to make money in the world. But I need that laptop to be recording the audio and I need it to be plugged in, so that's where those things are. But everything else out here, water bottle, bunch of snacks, I got a couple water-filled pouches, I got my DOP kit from Air, I got my travel packing cube from Peak Designs, my smoke sack, my my, da my like daily journal and my glasses, and a little laptop stand, right? And some wine and some LaCroix. And my water bottle, right? So this is like, this is what I need to travel. Minimal travel for me means I have a one packing cube for clothes and I have a toiletry kit. The rest of this stuff is daily carry. Also for travel, I bring a lot more snacks, okay? Bagworks.co slash snacks to find my favorite snacks for travel because here's a fucking big deal. Listen, like a, a whole solid 25% of this table is filled up with food. Because when you have everything that you need on the road and it's good nutrition, it's solid. Like this fucking Tonka buffalo meat that's delicious. I mean, it's a little dry, but it's like, it supports like Native American. When you have the nutrition that you fucking need. Do you want to know this? Do you want this blew my fucking mind. Okay, an old episode of Joe Rogan, Robert Sapolsky. You know about this guy? He's a Stanford primatologist. I promise you this video is about these two different travel bags. Just hold with me for a second. Robert Sapolsky, it's like episode 967 or something like that of the Joe Rogan episode. One of the top rated Joe Rogan episodes. Joe Rogan, the podcast where the most intense, honest conversations are happening. It's super bro -y. It's a bit block heady, but it's intelligent, dude. And it's deep and it's got some heart. You got to pay attention if you're not. Anyways, Robert Sapolsky, primate researcher, neurologist kind of guy, basically my favorite scientist, like my favorite fucking scientist. And the guy is legit. He talked about just offhand this one study that was done that looked at how long a judge after like, like had eaten, how long it's been since a judge is eaten and what kind of judgments that they're making. Like, you know, put the kid in jail or not. Give the kid a chance or not, right? And the fucking, like, blood sugar levels are just are <laughs> such a strong indicator of whether or not you have enough energy to focus and actually empathize with someone else. Well, guess what? When you're empathizing with someone else, it's a lot easier to go through life because you know that old saying, if everyone around you is an asshole, <laughs> you're, you're probably the one who's the actual asshole. I don't know. It, there's a better way of putting it than that. That's why I take food so seriously, dude, because if I'm stuck in an airport and all they got is a Jamba Juice, there's a lot of sugar in that Jamba Juice. It's fine. I like those little pretzels too, but there's just a lot of sugar. You're gonna, you're, you're hurt. You're getting yourself in a situation where an hour from now or 45 minutes from now, you're gonna be a little bit on a downturn, right? If you go to some place like a Starbucks and you get something that isn't quite right for you, not only are you paying more money for it, but you're gonna, you're giving your, you're setting yourself up for a little bit of like, it's gonna be a little hard harder later on. However, when I got my trail mix, when I got my weird meat sticks, when I'm using some full protein shit, and when I'm getting into good nutrition, anyways, this bag, this is about bags. And I'm just showing you all the things that I need to carry in both of these bags. Let's see if they fit. You know, it's funny about hipster Jesus. <laughs> if Jesus was around today, he'd be taking wine and he'd be turning it into the coconut LaCroix. That's <laughs> I don't know if that's funny, but it's getting me. Okay, so we've got these two bags. Here's the thing about these guys. 
Here's the thing about these two bags, right? They actually aren't that expensive. This is like 120, this is like 90 pounds, which is what, like 130 bucks or something like that. Um, the Arcido is a little smaller, a little thinner, definitely a little more streamlined. Like this feels a lot more uh, like, like suit ready. This feels a lot more, I don't know, it's just sort of nicer, stylish. This one feels a lot more like organizing tech panels, places to put your dongles, lots of that stuff. The set out has a much more robust shoulder strap system. We've seen this on all of their set out bags and, and lots of stuff. Great, really, really comfortable. This guy, more minimal, looks really nice, feels great. Definitely some sweat shit on this thing. Gotta be honest about that. This padding on the back, this panel, sweat machine. Yes, for some of you, that's a total deal breaker. But don't write off this bag. I mean, if, for, if that's a deal breaker for you, then, then don't look at it. But like for the rest of you, this thing is really great because it surprisingly packs a lot of shit and it's just, it's just nice to use. Let me talk to you about this bag for a second. It's got this pocket on the front. You see how it does this little swoop out thing? There's padding. There's a little thin layer of, of padding inside here that helps this outer panel keep a little bit of rigidity. It has three, it has dimension built into it, okay? So it's a 3D pocket. So that means you've got space to shove stuff in there, but then also when you're in here, there's a little bit of organization, and I mean just a little bit. And getting into it is, is kind of a, a bummer that way. So you're kind of like, it's like this envelope, it's like a mouth, right? That doesn't open. You're either going, you're either pushing one in and going in, or you're going up, but I'm I'm going in. I don't go up, I go in. In, in use, it's not perfect. It, there are moments where it feels kind of shitty. Um, you're trying to get something in and you're, you're just trying to get around here. But for the most part, I'm throwing in a pouch or something in here. So actually my pouches are like right at the top. It's easy to get to. And the, the easeability of throwing in and out of this thing is really great. So don't write this guy off. In fact, let's start with this guy and I'm gonna pack, I'm gonna try to pack all the shit I need for travel, for minimal travel. Listen. Minimal travel, do you see how small this is? I am 5'10", 190 pounds, it's small. A lot of you think you can't travel with this. You fucking can, dude, you can. You need to work on your wardrobe to get just a few items that all work together, right? Get yourself a shirt like this from Western Rise. I'll put a link to this shirt in the description below. This is by far my favorite Oxford style, just regular basic dude shirt. You can like, I, I, you can like, Ah, oh, it's just so comfortable. It it's stretchy. It looks really normal and natural. It feels great on. This thing's badass. Get this one pair of pants, one pair of jeans, maybe a little pair of pants in there, a couple t-shirts, uh, an overcoat, a jacket, another one. This is Western Rise sent me a bunch of shit, and they're they're getting mentioned in some videos because of it. This is their their like puffy jacket. I always travel with this. From Western Rise, again, this thing you can like pour wine on and it won't even stain, I think. I think. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Hipster Jesus. But it's plenty warm, especially with this song, because this has a little bit of insulation and moisture wicking. Both of these together, it's like, I've, I've got everything I need. So, so much of minimal travel is actually getting the wardrobe that you need, just the, just the bare essentials. But when you travel minimally, what it enables is, here's the thing, it's a big deal. You're the last person on the plane. You know why? This goes right under the seat in front of you. Guess what? There's no pulling shit out of your bag, putting it on the seat, hoping that there's some overhead compartment space, going down to the end of the plane, trying to do it there, shoving, getting those weird glances from people, having that weird interaction. Like, there's none of that. You go right in, you're the last person on the plane, or the first if you want. I always figure I'm gonna be sitting for a while. I'll be the last on. You're the last person on the plane. You're sitting out there listening to your podcast, listening to Robert Spolsky and Joe Rogan. You might have a weed edible or something like that, just because it makes the flight go nice only if you're only if you're only if you're a professional, you know, weed person, cannabis connoisseur. This goes under the seat in front of you, and then you have everything you need with you for the flight. Your iPad, your your laptop, your headphones, Bluetooth headphones, what do you need? In-ear headphones, your fucking meat sticks, your goddamn shot uh, that, that, that you need because you've got a five hour flight and you're about to crush some fucking work that you're gonna do, right? Or, I mean, typically on planes, I like to just, no, I downloaded some shit on my iPad from Netflix, we're watching, we're watching the 90s, uh, the CNN documentary series, the 90s or whatever or just honestly Joe Rogan episodes. I hate that I'm mentioning him so much. 
I hate that I'm talking so much about Joe Rogan, but I'll be honest, I listen to maybe like, I've listened to probably 50 episodes of Joe Rogan. I mean, maybe 50 or 60, that's it. He, he publishes way too often and there's a lot of it's MMA and all this bullshit. It's just focus on like people that are interesting. Ugh, I hate that I mention it so much because it's such bro -y shit. It's such a bro -y idea. It comes off as so bro science and it is. But man, I'll be damned if I'm not getting some like real hardcore like, dude, I need to show up for my family. Dude, I'm gonna show up for like, like getting inspired for life. <laughs> so stupid. I know that some of you know what I'm talking about. And maybe I'm just talking to you guys. And if you wanna know about this fucking bag and if it's worth it, then I'm gonna make you sit through a little bit of Robert Spolsky on Joe Rogan, <laughs> okay? That's just, the, that's just the exchange we're doing here. Now, here's the thing. I have two modes of, of carry. Basically, the question for me is if I'm bringing this or not, right? Most little travel bags, I don't end up bringing this. This is a computer stand, my uh, keyboard, a mouse, a spare hard drive, and a bunch of dongles. This is a pouch from Waterfield. It's like their large something pouch. I've got a little thing on here with a bunch of dongles for my MacBook Pro. Uh, inside of here, it's plenty of space for my my keyboard, my, uh, my mouse, my stuff like that. These Waterfield fucking pouches, you guys. Here's my recommendation. The thing is, is they're expensive. But my recommendation is just go buy one of each of Waterfield's pouches because even if you don't, I mean, I know not very many of you are gonna be able to do that, but like, but like, <laughs> just ask for them for Christmas or something. Honestly, they're so lovely. And even if you don't use them, you'll use them for something at some time. They make some great pouches. So for me, everything fits into here. I could probably fit that in there kind of if I wanted to. But these things, I may not pack into this guy, but I do have another pouch, the same thing, just smaller, and this is my Bluetooth headphones, okay? So I just zip those away into there. Inside, I also have just two cables. One of them is like a headphone cable so that I can plug those headphones if they run out of battery into my into whatever I need to listen to. The other one is a USB cable, because when, um, when I plug in these headphones, through USB, it actually charges them while I listen to whatever I'm listening to on the phone or on the on the computer. I did a huge review of these headphones, uh, compared them to all the others. These are the Sennheiser PXE 550s. These are the Bose, are the ones I go for. I'll put a link in the description below at this time code to the Bluetooth headphone death match. So I just put that caveat there in case, let me move my wine and my LaCroix. <laughs> Uh, in case I can't fit those because this is a smaller bag. I think I'll be able to fit them in the set out, but not in this one. Here's our main compartment on the Arcedo Saxon. Not much to look at, just small. We're talking minimal, baby. But you'd be surprised how much you can fit in here, right? So I've got my packing cube from Peak Design. This is my main thing. Then my DOP kit, all right? This is just from, this is from Air. I've got this packing cube and this DOP kit are my two favorites right now. You can find links to these uh, and all of my favorite, including those pouches, at bagworks.co slash pouch, or pouches, one of the two. Bagworks.co slash pouch, all my favorite pouches for travel, all my favorite travel accessories, uh, packing cubes, as well as laptop caches and shit like that. Okay, so you can see just how like perfectly that fits in there, and that's our like main compartment. The rest of this bag, I'm basically gonna try to get all this stuff in here, except for I could probably fit these guys right on top, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to just throw this stuff in here and leave it in there. One of the things that I always think about is I need my Bluetooth headphones to get in and out of those, so I like to put those towards the top of the bag so I can keep the zippers right up at the top and I can just like, you know, unzip a little bit, grab my Bluetooth headphones. All right, so that's all that stuff in there. This bag is, the main compartment is basically stuffed. Listen, like I said, you're not gonna see me put my laptop in here, but there's a great laptop compartment just on the side, and it's zippered, padded, and it has this nice little, like, it's weird, they put magnets on this thing. Feels a little superfluous. Feels a little superfluous, especially since it doesn't protect me from the rain. I mean, it protects me from side rain, but there's still space at the top for water to get in. Um, and I don't personally worry too much about that. I just I just don't. If I'm ever in a deluge, like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna duck into a building or a car or something. Famous last words, right? When you're doing Southeast Asia or something, but I'm I'm not doing Southeast Asia. I'm doing, you know, Tokyo or uh, LA or New York or something like that. Okay, so laptop goes in here. Then we've got a quick access pocket on the top. Now, because this goes into the main compartment, there's like a, you could see this little pouch up at the top there. We've got a little bit of an angle because my, my stuff that's in there, my toiletry kit right at the top, is pushing that back. But 
Never the fear. It's still plenty of room to get my glasses in there and my phone. When I go through security, phone and glasses are right in there. Uh, anything that's on me, I like to put right in there. I don't carry keys around with me, so bada bing, bada boom. How you doing? You following me so far? Are you a little surprised already how much fits in there? It fits a lot, man. And when you get, yeah, again, that's just one big packing cube. I'm telling you, you guys can take the risk, pack in one big packing cube, that's it see what it's like. And my dop kit, you might notice, was small. I do small dop kits. I have I have band-aids, I have earplugs, I have things I might need, I have a pair of scissors for my beard. I have things I might need that I don't always need, but it's not a big dop kit, it's small. None of this big fucking, all of this shit, no, you know, don't need any of that. Okay, so now we got the front pocket here, right? And, and again, this thing, is, this thing is lovely. I haven't mentioned anything about the outside, really water resistant, nice slick gray look. Very, very nice material. It feels good, it feels like solid. And it's like when it's on, it's just so small. So it, it's a killer, it's a killer little bag. Inside this guy, like I said, you know what would be awesome if this was, like, if there was like a little elastic that somehow I could pull this and open this up or if the panel zipped down like further on the sides or something. Cause what I, what I normally do here is I got a zipper, there's a zippered mesh thing in here that I'll put my notebook in. This is just my notebook for like, and before I do that, just to show you, there's so there's like a whole organization pocket here, right? So you got, you got places for pens, for all you pen fools. I just like put one pen, my Tombow brush pen, right in here. I like the way it helps me to make notes that look good. Look at those good notes. These are good notes. I don't know, it's probably, probably overexposed. You can't even see it. Okay, so I just throw that guy in vertically like that. Now, all I gotta do now is get my get my snacks down at the bottom of this sucker. I like my meat sticks to be vertical on the left side so I can just reach in and grab them. My, my trail mix can go, the rest of this stuff can kind of go down at the bottom. I've got, I've got a couple bars, like these are, I'll put, again, all of this is at uh, bagworks.co slash snacks. But like these little buffalo bites, killer, some bars from RX bar and stuff, just shoving that in. Sometimes and oftentimes I like to grab just a decent chocolate. This stuff's pretty decent, 70% dark chocolate. It's like my, I get it like one or two squares of this thing. And I feel like, I feel like, I, it feels like luxury. Like honestly, it just feels like luxury. Throw my trail mix in there, okay? And now, listen, let me talk you through these guys. Like I said, like I reached out to Four Sigmatic and I was like, just send me whatever you can, I'll, I'll mention it. And 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 I, and I think they're giving you a discount. Look in the description below. You can get a discount on all this shit. Okay, this is their shot, all right? It's got a little bit of caffeine, like about as much caffeine as a, as a, as a cup of green tea, right? And I do about half of these at a time. So I'll just have a little half of it, but it also has lion's mane. And lion's mane is a kind of mushroom that's supportive for your neurological brain functioning activity, right? So my neurons, my central nervous system, okay? It's just supposed to be really supportive for that. I definitely noticed, I was a coffee drinker for a long time, I definitely noticed that the high, the buzz from this is different. It's more smooth, it lasts longer, there's not quite as much of a, of a downturn at the end. So compared to a five hour energy, dude, fuck that. Go with this. There's no sugar, not, like it's pineapple juice basically, right? So it's supportive, I like that. The other thing I got going on is I got two chaga packs. This is a, like, these are like ready-made mixes that they have. Chaga is just this fucking crazy ass superfood. It's a mushroom and, and I think it gets most of its nutrients from the tree that it actually grows on. Birch trees if I'm remembering correctly. And the thing about it is it's just like so supportive for your immunity, for your um, inflammation and shit like that. Like all sorts of, the way that a mushroom navigates its environment is all through, like like all plants, is all through chemistry, right? We can we can talk and go like, please don't fucking beat me up, big guy. Whereas mushrooms, plants, the, that, that whole world, and there's a big difference between mushrooms and the plant world, it's a separate kingdom, right? But the, it's all through chemistry, right? So they're in this relationship with their environment through chemistry and they've had to evolve over a fucking long ass time, you guys. The oldest fossils we have on this planet are mushrooms. Mushrooms are fucking serious. Go listen to Paul Stamets on Joe Rogan. I think he just did an episode with T Tim Ferriss too. Mushrooms are serious and not just for the magic mushrooms going off on a vision quest because like that's, that's legit, it's real, it's serious. You gotta know what you're doing, but like you get access. Chaga, badass. Apparently Laird Hamilton, you know Laird Hamilton is this badass server guy? Again, this is about the bags. I won't do this for the, 
<laughs> Sorry. But apparently like every morning he's like roasting or every week or whatever, he's roasting or boiling his own chaga, like makes his own, drinks it throughout the day, adds it to a bunch of stuff, lattes or whatever. Chaga is a serious superfood, right? They just make these simple one-off packets. You throw it right in. This is serious. This is a mushroom coffee with lion's mane and chaga. Right, so this is just like focus stuff. It tastes like uh, instant coffee, which if you look, one of my oldest videos is actually talking about how to use the AeroPress to make some decent coffee. I used to be a, uh, I'm in, I was in Portland, all of my friends were baristas. All of them were baristas and coffee shop owners. I know more about coffee than anybody ever needs to know. I've tasted and sampled and cupped and sipped more coffees just for like flavor notes than I've tasted any other thing. I mean, I did that a lot with cigars and with wine, but with coffee and espresso, it's just way more. I'm off coffee, but occasionally I just need to crush it. And the thing is the chaga and the lion's mane in this definitely change the game for me because it's not as it's not as intense of a high and it, there's no crash to it. So you just get this supportive thing. This with a little bit of, of coconut oil mixed in there, like a bulletproof coffee type of thing, you're set up. So I throw these into the mesh compartment here just in case, you know, I need to grab them. I'm at a hotel a lot of the times, some shitty hotel, but they have a coffee maker in the room. I'll just make the coffee without any coffee in it and just have hot water. Or I'll go to a cafe and just get like hot water. Now, I don't always travel with my smokestack. In fact, I'm traveling with it less and less because I'm using it less and less. I'm using it just for like, you know, sort of like we just had Halloween, Samhain. It's like this important moment in the, in the, the timeline of the earth, right? From the from Halloween up until Christmas, the days get darker and darker, right? Slowly but surely. And then Christmas is this old pagan celebration of, hey, the darkest day, we've made it. We've made it. From this point on, it just gets, the day gets longer. The, the brightness gets brighter, right? So I'm starting to use this ceremonial stuff a little less frequently and traveling without it because it's just kind of like a, it's nice to it's nice to, nice to go off. You doing all right? You hanging in there? I know this is a lot. <laughs> I know some of you are entertained by this, and some of you are like, "It said it was going to be a bag review." What the fuck's going on now? Suspiciously absent on this bag. Why I packed it last is our water bottle holder. This is a serious bummer for me on this bag because look at this thing. It is minimal. I have everything I need in this. Notice how there's no spare shoes. Minimal travel, we've got no spare shoes, right? That's just what we're gonna do. We're just gonna choose that. Or you could throw in like a pair of flip-flops, right? Really minimal flip-flops. It's important you find a very minimal flip-flop that you like, right? Then you can always throw it in there. You go in some place, you always got it in case you need it. But look at this thing. It's tiny. I'm traveling. I'm traveling for like, I'm traveling indefinitely with this. I mean, it's not very comfortable, right? In terms of like, I've only got three outfits. I've got three outfits, right? I've got three outfits and one pair of jammies. That's what I've got in this right now. Okay, Inclu that includes the clothes that I'm wearing. So I'm doing laundry fairly often, but that's just, you work that into the equation. And in that sense, I can kind of go indefinitely. And depending on where I'm going and how long, if I'm doing a month in Detroit or something like that, well, fuck it, man, grab a, grab a, uh, a, a, a like a new shirt there. And maybe you just wear it while you're there. Maybe you find a way to stuff it in or maybe you like get rid of one of your old shirts. So you're kind of like, yeah, that might sound wasteful. It's not that wasteful, man. Take your shirt to Goodwill. It's like, it gets upcycled. But look at how small this is. Do you see like how much is possible when you're traveling minimal? Like this, Bluetooth headphones, weed gummy. I'm traveling across the country to go to Nashville for a conference or something. I'm having the time of my fucking life. Are you kidding me? Airports are full of people that you can just have fun watching when you're not stressed out about, am I getting, what do I need to get over here? What are checking luggage? I mean, we're not even close to checking luggage. Is there going to be room on the thing? Oh, they overbooked the plane or the this, that, and the other. It's like, I'm right here, right here. I got my meat stick. I don't need to stop. I don't need to buy anything, but I do need to hold this or I need to get a carabiner and clip it on because I can't travel without one of these. Okay, a couple more notes on this. Our handles are really killer. They have some mesh underneath it. They're just big, fat, soft guys. Straps are solid. They're nothing special. They probably could be a little more robust. If this bag was a little bit bigger, it'd be good to have it robust. But because it's so small and minimal, I don't have any problems with these. They have that contour and no sternum strap. And then I used this one for a while. I used it as a daily carry for a while. I never noticed needing anything because we have that contour. It just feels like it's a school backpack. 
I mean, look at this thing. It's like a school backpack. And I'm traveling for like a week or more or two weeks with this thing. Okay, so let's compare that to the Tortuga set out laptop bag. First and foremost, we got a water bottle pocket, right? Right there, and it's a good one. It's a really good one. You see how deep that shoot water bottles in there? By the way, links to this in the description below. Um, it also zips up if you don't need it, right? That elastic sort of folds inside and then it zips up. Now, here's the deal. This is a much more gaudy kind of look. It has a lot more bells and whistles. Look at, the, I mean, just the straps alone. Like this is a very, like this on top of a suit looks funky. This on top of a nice outfit, not a great look. But when you don't care about the look as much, and if and it's, and I actually think it's fine for my style all the time, right? Because I don't wear suits and shit. But this is a really, really comfortable shoulder strap setup. Similar with our handles on the sides, exactly the same locations. They're both soft and they're both very comfortable. On this one, we've got a big laptop pocket on the back, okay? So laptop, tablet, okay? Then you've also got like some space to throw some shit and a mesh pocket up top. Now, typically I don't end up using this. I think I put my, my notebook in here or my laptop charger, but I digress. Let me just fill this sucker up and show you how it packs and compare it to the other one. First of all, before I add anything, a little more capacity for sure. This is 25 liters and the Saxon is 23 liters, okay? Now, liters are like, it's sort of bullshit. Like there, nobody's filling this up with a certain amount of liters. So it's not an exact thing. This feels more than two liters bigger than the other one, but that's where they come in at. Notice you've got some mesh pockets on up here in case you want to organize some shit. Okay, we've got our packing cube and our toiletry kit. You can see there's, there's I don't know, it's just, it, it perfectly fits this shit a little bit better. There's a lot, a little more, there's a little more space. All right, laptop stand keyboard and shit, whoa. And then Bluetooth headphones right up at the top. This thing fits just slightly better, a little bit more, right? I'm honestly carrying a lot of shit and this size form factor, you'll see when I put it on, it doesn't really look that much bigger than the Saxon. So you really do get more capacity out of this thing for not that much bigger of a bag. Like it easily sits under, under the feet, fits under the seat in front of me. Now I'm gonna do something a little different here because typically for me, I kind of work in, in stages. Normally I have more than just a couple meat sticks. I normally carry kind of quite a few of these. So I only need really one with me like on the regular. Once that's done, then I'll grab one from inside the bag and put it in, in the like in the ready go space. So what I'll use are these mesh pockets here for like surplus food stuff surplus anything, right? So things that like, this is where I refill the front of the bag where it's like quick access. And when there's less stuff there, it's actually quicker to access it. So I'm not fumbling around and feeling feeling everything. I'm fumbling around feeling one bar, uh, one chocolate, one meat, one trail mix, right? So for me, the shot and the, um, and the coffee stuff, I'll, I'll only put one chaga up front, the shot, an extra chaga and the and the coffee stuff. Those are things for like those are my refills. I've got these two bars. The uh, I've got these two bars. The RX bar and this this Thunderbird bar. Both are favorites. I'll leave the the RX bar to be the one that I'm accessing, and this will be uh, for later. Same thing with uh, with meat sticks. Like I only really need the one meat stick. I'll put the 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 buffalo jerky away. So that's kind of nice because it doesn't take up much space. I can still easily close the bag. And now when I reach into my, my front pocket, like there's not 15 things to choose from, there's six. Now, quick access right here on the front. I put my, uh, my glasses right in there. And then whenever I go through security, my phone goes in there, my uh, whatever. If I have my in-ear headphones or something like that, those go in there. Boarding pass will sit in there as well. Okay, so now, this panel right here on the front of the bag. So we've got the main compartment zipper that goes all the way down, opens clamshell. This one only opens to here. You've got a key ring. You've got a zippered compartment, a little guy. That's where I throw my, my uh, notebook, right? It fits just perfect. I love to be able to grab it. I don't need to zip that up. That's awesome. There's also a tablet compartment, a small tablet compartment with which I'd like to get a smaller like iPad. I have the big iPad Pro uh, 12 inch or whatever. Uh, it's too big, it's way too fucking big. But 
I don't have that, so I just travel without a tablet typically. There are more like little organization panels in here, just that bullshit with like pens or like business card or something like that. But here's what I do. I just take all this shit. I normally take the biggest thing, these guys, throw it down at the bottom. You can see that there's, that there's actually dimension built into this pocket, just like on the front of the Saxon, right? So everything fits perfectly in here. And then what I do is I take my, my laptop charger just, just goes right in here typically, because it's just easy to get it in and out of. Occasionally, if the bag isn't very full, I'll put the laptop charger back here in that mesh pocket, uh, just so that everything's together, but that's more of the daily carry vibe, not the travel vibe. Okay, I put the water bottle in, and that's everything in this bag. You can see there's, there's, definitely, there's definitely loosey goosey. There's more, there's more stuff we could fit in there, right? But I don't need it. Why would I pack it? If I don't need it, the whole thing is finding out what you need, not how much space there is in the bag. I remember when the Manal guys first sort of blew my mind on this and they were just like, it's just about the right size. We could make a bigger bag because carry on could fit it. But this was the right size for the gear we thought we needed to take. And that's why we made it that way. So this one, we we have a sternum strap. This one, we have huge huge chunky padding on the back with mesh and big air airflow so way less sweaty than the saxon a lot of capacity definitely a little heavier you can it feels like it feels pulley that way a little bit more but nothing like nothing broken the saxon is more comfortable it's just more streamlined so this one for me is is kind of the hipster jesus favorite because <laughs> because it's just it's what's going to satisfy most of you Honestly, most of you, if you have a question between these two, the Saxon is kind of for badasses or just for like a killer minimal, a killer daily carry bag. You know, I think Arcido is making some interesting products. I think they've got an interesting line like now. And, and like, honestly, I'm just watching them because they're like, they're doing some interesting shit. Also on this one, the, the straps can clip away and, and uh, fold into this, into this thing. A lot of people seem to want to be able to do briefcase mode and carry it briefcase mode. That's cool. But I think a lot of you are going to resonate with this uh, Tortuga laptop, set out laptop bag, right? And I used this for a long time for daily carry before reviewing this here. And it was great. It's not my favorite look. It is not my favorite look. There's so many other bags that I literally drool over for the look. It might be one of my favorite bags in terms of functionality, just in terms of what it can do. It can do so much and it's comfortable to do it. It's a great fucking bag. Here's the deal, you guys. I've got links to all this below. When you purchase through my links, that's what gets, that's what helps support the channel, honestly. And if you don't like the video, please don't click the links. If you don't wanna support, don't click the links. But when you do and you purchase, that's that's what I'm about. It helps support the channel. The thing is, I want to get people into bags, into products, more than just bags, into products that you can just stop fucking searching for more products about. I think we can change the world by what we purchase. I mean, we have this impulse to buy. Have you noticed that? We have this imp, like we think a product is actually going to solve our problems. When really, the problem's probably in here or in here, right? So we got to be doing that work. That's why I, that's why the mushrooms, that's why the Joe Rogan, that's why the life coaching, that's why the, the whatever, meditation, you know, meditation, gratitude journal, scientifically, like research wise, these are the two things that you can do to increase your well being like massively. That, I mean, exercise. Exercise is the most effective depression medicine that we've ever discovered. We, it's, it's, it's so much more effective than all of the pills, all of the SSRIs, all of that stuff. Like you do the trials, exercise is more effective than all of them, especially when you consider the fact that SSRIs and things like that tend to stop working after time. It's, and especially when you consider the fact that fucking everybody's depressed. Fucking thing, the whole thing's going crazy. It's going crazy. Their whole earth's on a tilt, you know? So it makes sense that you're a little tilty. So I'm passionate about getting you into products that you're actually gonna love. Cause when you have something in your life, like dude, my favorite example is, is like these Waterfield pouches. Like when you have something in your life and Waterfield, a company that I don't have an affiliate relationship with, cause they won't give me one, damn it. But it's, I like, I'm shameless about promoting them because when you have something in your life that you literally love the feeling of, like you like, you just feel the quality of. When the things in your life have a kind of meaning, right? When it's not just Amazon Prime, bunch of bullshit, baubles, trash everywhere, literal like just, just like it hasn't made it to the landfill yet, right? Some piece of shit 
some little cheap bag, some little cheap something, something that doesn't inspire you, it doesn't have meaning in it, right? When your life's full of that, guess, guess what? Like it's pretty easy to feel a little bit meaningless. Not saying that when you buy good shit, your life's gonna start to feel meaningful. But I'm saying when you imbue things, like when you spend money on things that matter to you, especially when the things that matter to you for the things that you have to do that matter, right? For me, my work matters to me. Doing these videos, helping you guys figure out this stuff, for like the life coaching stuff that I'm studying, the like, not life coaching, but I mean the, the personal transformation shit, all of the psychedelic research and the um, the personal exploration into, into just self-exploration and all that shit, right? That really matters to me. My conversations with my friends, my buddies who are working their asses off, trying to build something that matters and they're fucking scared to death. And I built something that's scared to death. They don't, like I'm scared to death, right? There's meaning in all that sh shit and I love it. And my, it might sound stupid to you, but my bag is my tool for that. It's the thing I carry my tools in, maybe more accurately. The thing I literally carry my tools in. My Bluetooth headphones is my connection to what people are thinking about in the world, right? So that's a tool for me. This, what I put the Bluetooth headphones in, is a tool for me. What I carry that on my back with me. My philosophy of carry. You have a philosophy of carry. Just spend a little time figuring out what the per what you actually need to carry. Set it all out on a big table, right? What do you think you need? Do it for a little while. See if you can cut some shit out. See if there's something that you need to add to it. You know, you sometimes I need I needed to add that whole that whole laptop stand and keyboard and mouse. That that like that means a lot more shit to carry than I was before. But it gets my laptop up. It gets my neck up. I care about my body. I care about my posture. I care about being able to throw my kids kids up in the air in 20 or 30 years or whatever, right? I want to be able to hold them and carry them. That's what I, that's like my goal for my body. Anyways, this has been long enough, you guys. Thank you for, <laughs> thanks for just going with it. I can't even believe my camera is still recording. Um, if you do purchase, please use my links. It is means the world to me that I get to just like talk to these companies, have them send me shit out. I try shit out. I give you the honest take. I'm giving you the honest take on it. And go to bagworks.co. I've got I'm, co I'm constantly curating a list of my favorite travel bags, my favorite daily carry bags, my favorite travel accessories. I think it's so funny, but my travel snacks, right? I know that some of you are gonna get inspired by that shit. Um, that is constantly up to date. And that's where I think it's like, I'm just making these videos to learn more, give you a little more information, but I want you to go there and make a decision, try it out, send it back if you don't like it, but I've got videos on damn near everything there. So you're gonna get a sense of what the product's actually like. All right, y'all. Talk to you later, bagworks.co. Love you. Bye bye. Bagworks.co. Jasereese.net. Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, where I he's guess wanting so. us to, hmm. I guess, go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.